More than 72,000 South Dakotans are affected by food insecurity. According to Feeding South Dakota, food pantries play a critical role in helping address these issues in communities. On this week's Coda Cares, we head to the Sturgis Kiwanis Food Pantry to see how the nonprofit is serving people in need. For more than seven years, the Sturgis Kiwanis Food Pantry has provided food to Meade County residents at no cost. A rise in clients, a decline in donations, a recipe for empty shelves at the food pantry. Last month we had 227 families come in to, to, uh, to get food for their, for their needs. We uh, depend on donations from the community and uh, in the last two years our our donations have been less than our expenses, so we are in, uh, in need of uh, uh, some, some assistance. Families needing food must register at the Hillsview High Rise. People can visit the food pantry once a month. Qualification is based on income and need. The number of families utilizing the pantry is rising, giving nearly 4,500 pounds of food in one month. Members of the nonprofit are looking towards their annual food drive to help bring in donations and keep their doors open. On Saturday, October 28th, people can drop off food or monetary donations at several locations across Sturgis. At the elementary school, at, at Lynn's Dakota Mart, at Grocery Mart, and here at the food pantry at 801 6th Street in Sturgis between the hours of 9 and 12. So we appreciate if you could drop off some food to us, if you could drop off a donation so we can purchase food. Another option, the grocery store will have bags of food ready to purchase. Those bags will be donated to the Sturgis Kiwanis Food Pantry. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Kyle Clark. Donations to this week's Coda Cares, the Sturgis Kiwanis Food Pantry, can be dropped off at 8016 6th Street on Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 9 to 11.45 in the morning. And the money could also be mailed, and for that address, just head to our website at CoderTV.com. We'll